Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition, where I actually ran back to Skyhold to die Dorian's armor. I gave him kind of a blue look. I with a blue look. It looks good on him. Teehee. But I also grabbed Vivian, because I was like, oh hey, she's kind of from here, so... Good, she has that... I did. I gave her lightning, but I kind of wanted her to be ice now. I don't know. Maybe she could be. Bo oh wow, she's just, she's got a lot of abilities. Um, I can even project. Ooh, that is cool. He rheumatizes that enemy. They are blasted back with massive force. Uh, your mana generates faster. You're near hostile enemies. Whenever you're very active, enemies who attack you will take enemies in return. Whoa. Yeah, the arcane warrior is bad, A. Eh? Ooh. Oh, freaking. Uh, it's difficult because I would like to get that one. You draw back the energy released by your enemies and your attacks against them. Mm, that sounds awesome. But... I think I'm going to focus mainly on the, on the night enchanter now for her. I have one more slot left and it, that's where that, that it's going to go. <laughs> Let's go with the Defending Blade. We'll get the, the first attack as strong as it can be. Okay, now we will go... Guys, by like the fish markets or something. You must control yourself in front of the worshippers, sister. They pose a question and it is valid. Does the power of this Corypheus suggest the old gods are real? Their reality and power were never in question. I remember that discussion. Probably should have died Sarah and Vivian's armor too, but oh well! That is the question that defines faith. I think we already read that. Hello? Oh! That's what this door is for. Okie dokie. Ooh, this is so fun! This is Ooh, I wonder, oh shoot, I wonder if I don't have enough influence yet. That's kind of why I saved, actually. Was if I get here and I there's something that I don't have enough influence for and I can tell that I don't have enough influence for something, kind of. Sometimes you can kind of tell. Sometimes, I'm not really sure. I think most of I've ever, ever been able to tell is because I get to an area too quickly and I'm like, wait, last time I had enough influence to do this one thing. I'm almost level 11. But my influence is not very high yet, so maybe I'm doing something. Of course, I am a rogue, so that might be able to help me out. And I've got all the perks. The nobility, the history, the underworld, and arcane perks. Good golly, we are traveling. We are, like, legitimately traveling to a place. There's an enemy. What happened here? Oh. Merchant is conspicuously absent. I didn't realize we were going to be fighting. It's me, Sarah, Dorian, and Vivian. Good thing Vivian is a bad, eh? What? A simple pendant. I am looting this guy's house. Yeah, his, uh, his stuff does not... His papers are all strewn about and whatnot. Letter to a slaver. Zager, cancel that order for more field workers. Get me scribes, library sc slaves. The smartest you can find. They have to be able to read and write. Former runaways are fine so long as they were clever about it. This venatory leader, Calpurnia, is paying a fortune for our best and brightest stock delivered to her personally. Don't ask me why. One thing, don't send any with brands or whip marks. We had a couple branded slaves in the last shipment. Her people sent the couriers back with burns on their faces. I said Calpurnia doesn't take timely to damage stock. Strange tick for a magister, but her gold's good enough. It seems Vicinius angered Calpurnia by sending her mistreated slaves. Really? Most Interventor wouldn't bother to care. 
Yeah. She was paying a fortune for literate slaves. But she has the Venatori. Unless... Perhaps dear Calpurnia has something she wishes to hide. Oh! Oh my gosh. You two were the best to bring for this. I am somehow good at that. I think there are times where I don't bring people... But a lot of times I bring people and I'm like, oh yeah, you guys have vested interests in this. Woo. But Sarah's always good to bring for this kind of a thing too. So there are, maybe, oh, maybe are they upstairs? I think they are upstairs, okay. I was like, there are enemies like right behind this door. Uh, um... Invoice for slaves, shipment, 14 healthy males, elf, three literate, former scribes and bookkeepers, set aside for C, five healthy males, human, deduct 20 from one for missing hand. Deduct 20 coins. 10 healthy females, elf, seven healthy females, human, two literate, set aside for C. Payment, 350 sovereigns, paid in full, plus 150 sovereigns, down payment for next month's shipment. A note is scribbled below. Reserve more for next time. Lots of demand. An invoice for a shipment of slaves. Decinius was selling more than rose oil then. What a dirt bag! Are you a Venatori? Oh boy, you are a Venatori. You are a spellbinder, and you haven't seen me yet. A stalker. A zealot. I'm cheating by looking ahead. I know. Hmm, all right then. Let's have... Ooh, let's have Dorian actually put up the uh, wall of flame here. Is this the wall? It's not the wall. It's the wall. It's not giving me the line. Oh, it is. It's just doing it in a weird way. Okay. And then... Go into stealth, darling. I'll go into stealth as well. And you will strike with all the fiery furnace of. Mm, should we do? Mm, yeah. No, we'll have her do barrier first and then do the other thing. Where are we at? We are right here. Okie dokie. Got them. Come on. I got somebody anyway. Uh, when I have the mark of death too, I need to remember to use that. Got him and he exploded. I know it's a doorway, but you look like you're doing a pretty dang good job in there, darling. Okay. She is just like, she's aggressive. Oh, hey, doggy, you doggy, and you, my doggy. We are like looting bookcases. This is weird. More things to sell. So, like, oh, wow. Whoa, I did not. Oh. Boy, I did not notice this when I was floating through. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I thought this was. I think I thought it was just the candlelight, but he got exploded. That must have been Vicinius. Yeah. It seems the Venatori tired of following him. Let's look around. What do you mean? Like, why did the Venatori kill him? It was Calpurnia who was... She's the one doing it. This chart notebook contains accounts, details of shipping routes, cargo manifests, and a list of contacts all shuffled together. The last entry reads, Remember, six people arriving tomorrow to discuss new shipment must bring up incident with last courier being branded. Losing profits to keep them quiet. Good customer, but she's bleeding me dry. Ask for compensation. Remember, fine bottle of good Gislaine Red for meeting with Inquisitor. Should be memorable. He knew I was coming? I can't remember. I, th I thought I was, like, sneaking up on him. With last courier being branded, losing profits... Oh! Okay. So, like, the 
career got branded and he was like, hey, and the Vindictius or whatever was like, I gotta pay to keep him quiet, you know? Lots of gold. Why can't I have that gold sitting there? Yeah, and why all of a sudden was it like crystal pieces that I need to find, you know what I mean? I don't have any reference for that. Figurine of a maternal Andraste. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, Shattered crystal. Let's find the pieces. Why? Why are we finding the pieces, man? It's okay. He's a rogue. He knows what he's doing. Um, There's another one. If these were important, why didn't the Venatori? Oh, I guess we killed the Venatori. The crystal's whole again, but hold on. <gasps> Lady Calpurnia, I had no intention. I warned you of consequences should the slaves you bring me suffer in your care. Venatori, show him my displeasure. No, wait, wait! A dwarven relic for storing memories. Oh! There's one or two in Minrathus. Very rare. Dagna might know what to make of it. <gasps> I am so good, I brought I bet you though Solus would have known. Wow, she didn't just show him the displeasure, like she like killed him. How is she supposed to get more slaves? I guess there's always more slave traders, right? Alright, well that's cool. Wow, that is way cool. Oh, dang. This is going to be interesting. I think I've probably mentioned it like 70,000 times, but the cal the outfit Calpurnia wears, you get in Trespasser if you do, like, you do the whole deal. Like, you do, like, a, there's a certain, like, side quest you can do for it. Um, but it it's basically like a dress, right? It looks like a dress with pants. And I was flipping through once, and it landed on Blackwall, and I bot died. I bot died. It is not armor for a man. It's not. I'd be really bummed out if I was a man, like, playing. Like, playing as a man, even. And, like, getting that armor. Like, working really hard to get it. And then figuring out that it looks retarded. And it looks like a dress. It looked pretty good on my character, but she was a warrior. And so having her... It, it's ideal for a mage, I think. But, yeah, it was, it was not, it's not something you, uh, you bring to the bachelor party, you know what I mean? I guess we can just, um, just go, right? See, doesn't Dorian look good in blue? I kind of had him in a red and white theme last time, but I kind of like the blue. And I like crazy colors for, um... For Sarah, <laughs> let me let me think about words and of course elegant colors for uh, Vivian. I never really took her out though, so we'll have to mess around. I, I think I never actually took her out except once, maybe twice. But she's definitely interesting. I like her a lot. I think her in this because she's manipulative like a rogue but and she has like the information and the contacts a rogue would have but she's like the public face of a rogue like she's she's Orlesian to the bone you know what I mean like she just knows how to play the game and be a star player on like the front not like Leliana like Leliana manipulates from the shadows but she manipulates right there in your face <laughs> And she's a terrifying woman, that's for sure. Oh, I'm not trying to, like, further the main quest by any means, like, too quickly. I just... This this is interesting. Um, oh, I was like, console, what? Liliana is over there. She's not in the room. Hey! You. Inquisitor. We'll talk later. I need to bring him out, if we're going to be palsies, I need to bring him out when I'm looking for 
uh, the tears in the veil. Dorian! Always with the questions. <laughs> what will people say? Oh, they're already, they're already talking. I should go. Try not to kill anyone without me. I never do, Dorian. I never do. Do I have anything to turn in? I don't... Here is the request Harrods made. Oh, I do. I wait for his reply. That is at his discretion. I have nothing further to add. Okay. I love interacting with Leliana as a rogue. Like, I feel like we talk as equals. Like, we both know how to play... Not the Orlesian game, but how to play the rogue game. I don't know. It's cool. Your trip to the merchant's home yielded results. Indeed. Before she became leader of the Venatori, Calpurnia was a slave from Minra. No way! Even slaves with magic are treated unkindly in Tevinter. If Corypheus freed her, no wonder she follows him. Whoa! What else does her past reveal? It haunts her. Calpurnia has freed every slave she's purchased. So... Justinius tracked his shipments. My agents will investigate. This may lead us to Calpurnia's lair. In the meantime, speak to Dagna. The crystal you found on Vicinius fascinates her. Okay. All right, then. That's cool. Let's see if we have anything else to say. They tell me you have a gift for shadows and blades. <laughs> Is that the assassin's thing? When you put it that way, it makes it sound so elegant. <laughs> It does, doesn't it? Mysterious. Even romantic. Indeed. Pretending it's something else sometimes makes it easier. As your spy master, may I say that I am pleased. <gasps> My agents appreciate that they can look at the Herald and see themselves. Oh. I even talked about my friend Zevran. <gasps> he was an Antivan pro. He wasn't always good at it. We only met because he failed to kill me. <gasps> but he made me laugh. in Origins right now is Zephran. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'll have to bring them out on missions and see how they interact a little more. The Divine's death hit you hard. How have you been feeling? Oh, you are referring to my outburst in the Haven. I, I am much better now. She was a good friend, and it will take time to get used to her absence. But thank you for asking. It is appreciated. Good, good, good. Anything I should know? It seems that the Olesian army is awaiting our next move. What do you mean? Some of the generals are sympathetic to our cause. Others are still suspicious. Our actions are under a great deal of scrutiny. Okay. I'll leave you to your work. Why is the Orlesian army suspicious of us? You know what I mean? Oh, I forgot that there's a fast travel point directly to her. Uh, Dagna. Dagna is... Oh, hey, read. Request to fight. Boop, boop. Any more? I don't think there's any more reading to be done. Worship. Worship? Are you talking to me? There is a little bit more going on in the way of, like, you know, people setting up little places to relax here. I have a ton of Orlesians in here, though. Like, how did they get here? This place always worries me. Sometimes going into the Undercraft makes the game crash, and I don't want to have to do all that again. And I'm trying not to save too much, but okay. No fun. I know, right? Dagna. This is fun. This is an amazing find, Inquisitor. The shape written Orzammar had something like it. Yeah, it sounded like it. Like it seemed similar. Well, greetings to you too, Dagna. <laughs> they preserve voices or a likeness, memories. You know? You don't know. It doesn't matter. The Venatori cracked it, but here. Oh, hey, Liliana. These documents you found, Inquisitor. I've made interesting <gasps> 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 But 
that the power will draw them unless you have wards against possession. Once you have become the vessel, demons will be beneath your concern. Prepare as I have directed. I shall, Elder One. So was that Calpurnia's? Sod it. Oh, sorry. The crystal couldn't take anymore. It wasn't meant for this. What do you mean it doesn't? Uh... That looked like Corypheus and Calpurnia. It was a memory stored in the crystal. No, that was vital information. Did you see Calpurnia's expression? No, it looked Their like animatronics. Maybe less than harmonious. Corypheus said Calpurnia was going to be a vessel. A vessel for what? They spoke of power and demons. But Calpurnia is already a magister. Corypheus must have some other plan. Crystal showed us Calpurnia hasn't bought into Corypheus's myth just yet. Well, I'm no shaper, but I might be able to get it to remember new sounds. Really? If we hid it among Calpurnia's belongings, imagine what we could learn. Whoa. Ah, I can split it and keep half here. We could hear her speaking right then. Whoa. It's not how they're supposed to work, and it'll probably break. As I said, I'm no shaper. Inquisitor. Calpurnia's Venatore have been digging up elven ruins. Tracking them might lead us to her. If this crystal were placed in a lair, I cannot overstate the value of what we might learn. I'll do that. That's not a very roguish response, but we'll, we'll, we'll try it. Why not attack Calpurnia head on? You attract attention, Inquisitor. Her spies would see you coming. A single agent may slip in and out without notice. This crystal may yield great reward. Information is key. Dagna, do whatever it takes to get that crystal ready. Right. If there's a rift growing between Corypheus and Calpurnia, we must exploit it. Interesting. I'll have the crystal ready soon. I think. Let me find the Quicksilver. Huh. Wow. This is uh, very cool. Ready to answer the great mysteries. It'll be wonderful. Uh, bye bye. I'll see you later, Dagna. I can't wait. I wonder, can I put um? Do I do that here? Modify my weapons by put. I could put like something on my bow. Have I already done that? I don't think I have. I can put a rune in it. Okay. Oh, a corrupting rune. Okay. Sure. Put a corrupting rune in there. Yeah. Um, and I could make a grip for it. Uh, do I have one? Um, oh, I got... Oh, I did the... Oh, I did the advanced crafting. Good, good. <laughs> uh, craft weapons. Let's see. Do I have... Oh, nope. I don't. I just have the Bianca things. I could make a fire rune, but I don't have blank rune stones. That's okay. All right then. All right then. Ha ha ha. Um. I don't know how long we have until. I said, uh, what's your name? Boop, boop. Josephine was done. But I don't necessarily have anything that I'm waiting for her on. With the new crew thing. That requires Leliana or Cullen. Let's just go see. Well, because that's probably I'm probably gonna have Leliana do the infiltration. And I don't know how much longer her questy thing is going to take. Summon war. Okay, we got to keep an eye. Oh, also, about the war table. Apparently, it just mentioned it briefly in the art book. But it's made out of a tree, right? Apparently, this tree was a symbol of, well, when it was alive, living tree, it was a symbol of peace between two forgotten factions. 
but since then it has been cut in half and slabbed like you know as it is as a for use as a war table which i think is kind of kind of sad in a way but in the picture it had a, a chandelier too and i don't know if that was just actually a thing or it's a what. bit cold in here don't you think we are in the mountains i'm more concerned about everything scattering whenever there's a draft <laughs> That was simpler than I would have hoped. The Imperial Accounting House clerks were so shocked to have been discovered and so fearful of being found out. They all but swore their loyalty to the Inquisition on the spot. My agents say they are behaving themselves so far. Indeed, they send gifts for you to prove their good faith. But we will watch them closely nevertheless. In the meantime, any efforts we make to gather coin in Skyhold will undoubtedly benefit from their placement. Oh, so we got gold from that. Okay. Oh, um, Leliana's done. Confront mages in Wending Wood. We got influence. We've discovered the source of the accusations leveled at our Templars. A group of rebel mages with extremist leanings operates in the area. The group fears our association with the Templars will permanently crush what remains of their rebellion. They've been actively working to stir up anti-Templar and anti-Inquisition sentiment in the region. Fortunately, we have enough evidence to clear the Templars' name. Um... Busy. I've arranged an accord between the Marquis and the Dowager. Wonder of wonders. Perhaps they can be useful to us after all. Is only Cullen allowed to do that one? Oh, wow, look at that. We got good timing. Let's see what let's see what becomes of that. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. It's only a week since you left, yet Ansberg slowly returns to its routines. We will never forget how demons ran through our streets, just as we will always remember the men and women who reclaimed them. There is talk of erecting a statue in honor of our Templar defenders. I can already hear you calling it excessive nonsense. But it is little enough for saving a city. Allow us our heroes. Don't let that wound on your leg scar and come visit us when duty permits. The new recruits should hear your war stories. Always in your debt, guard Captain Vineman. Investigate man accused of abomination. And we got influence. So, Barris! Barris is so good! Oh, so proud of him. Okay, uh, confront mages in the Wending Wood. Apparently only Cullen can do that? Oh, look at that. Three hours! Go oh, dang. Um, where's new to the crew? Ooh, this is so fun. Okay, okay. She can't participate. Uh, just eliminate them, put the boy to work. Oh, okay. No, no, no. We want... Yeah, 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 Let's get that started. That's one All of my right. favorites. One of my favorites. Oh, the conscript things. Right. What we need is information. Shoot, what did I want? What else did I want? Oh, I wanted her for... Uh, where is it? The, the one we just got. With... Um, where is it? Oh, yes. L. It's all ready. I tested out the crystal halves, and everything one half records, the other receives. Now your spies just have to find the camp, sneak into it, figure out how Capernia works, hide the crystal, there without getting caught, and sneak out. Busy cake! Oh, not too long, then. This will take time as well as people, Inquisitor, but the reward is obvious. Let us begin. She's not participating, and he's laughing at me. All right, then. Oh, he can't. Oh, but they could, but they're not. Okay. Sometimes it'll tell me if they, if it would give me like a little blurb. Yes. Inquisitor. Get that started. Uh, we could identify the Venatori agent. Or what we were looking at for Lily. Oh, Liliana was the one I wanted for the information over there. Um, identified. Have Iron Bull tell the Ben. Whoa! See, I never get this. I don't know. I don't understand. All information about the five bells of the Hunter come back negative. The Talva shot is not the Bard. The Elf is not the Mortalitasi, and the Dwarf is not the Smuggler. We have learned that the, Fer that the Ferelden is the Venatori agent, but unless we can link her to a specific background quickly, we will lose this lead. We must remove the target immediately to stop Duke Tithus from falling prey to Venatori interests. 
Holy crapping cow! Used it 22 hours! Or 16. Okay, the Talvashoth is not the bard. Uh, so is it the Kunari then? Um, I would assume the Mortalitasi was human. Uh, the dwarf not being the smuggler is interesting, but I don't I don't have a lot of information to go off of. The Ferelden is the Venator agent. That's interesting. So she thinks it's the smuggler, which makes sense. It could be the bard, though. But I don't really know. It's not really. I mean. Liliana is obviously way shorter, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Help, Ponchad. Oh, um. It looks like hers is the shortest. Uh, thus getting a com. Oh, right! Oh, 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 oh! This is the. Oh, Dorian's birthright! I completely forgot! Jeez! Uh. Oh boy, I hope he doesn't get mad. Hers is the shortest. Okay. Oh, please don't hate me. Please don't hate me, my love. Don't be angry. It seems like that whole thing with Dorian could go a lot of different ways. I think I ended with him approving because I refused to help the guy. Which wasn't my intent. I didn't know that was gonna happen. I did reload. I thought there. I thought I was gonna have to help the guy, but apparently I don't have to. And get this off my screen. Magister's birthright demand. Right. I got that really quick. I thought we had to defeat a dragon first. Apparently not. Unfinished business. Memories of the gray. Oh boy. Oh boy. Those ones take forever. Working on that one. Not gonna do that one yet. No, that one takes forever too. Working on that one. Okay, so where should we play in the meantime? You know, I never actually did this. Like, I never finished it. I think I kind of started it and then I never finished it. So, that could be interesting. Alright, back into the... Well, oh, yes. Alright, we got all that. And then, if I remember, I can actually fast travel from here because there's... I try to remember when I can that there's the... 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 Rumor? The... Oh, God, what is that word that I can't remember? This is the second time playing this game, I haven't been able to remember the word. I have on the S. Not suspicion, the... God dang. Superstitious. The superstition that if you go from here, from if you travel from this war table, you get Any news more... on rifts beyond reach of the Inquisition? Yes, and it is not good. Uh-oh. Like, like, far, not in Ferelden? Oh. Well, let's open up the Emerald Graves. Arbor Wild. I didn't realize the Emerald Graves were so close to the Arbor Wilds. Montissimod. I do want to open up the matter, but I also want to, I'm curious about this. We've been contacted by a Fairbanks who says he has information of value to the Inquisition. He offers a trade. The information in exchange for the Inquisition's help in eliminating a dangerous rebel band calling themselves the Freemen of the Dales. There have been reported sightings of these rebels all over the Dales, where they have caused significant problems for Elysian troops. Uprooting them could be if a good move for us. If you require any help finding this woman who leads the Venatori, I do keep contacts into Winter. <laughs> Thank you, but I must involve as few people as possible. Calpernia has a gift for ferreting out spies close to her door. 
she would know. Leliana's probably lost some people. First, let us see what Fairbanks has to say. He is hiding out somewhere in the Emerald Graves, the legendary Dalish Forest. My spies report that he is well acquainted with the area and its terrain. He could prove a useful asset if we choose to trust him. At your word, I'll send emissaries to meet with Fairbanks, along with hidden agents to watch him. Of course. Wouldn't have it any other way. Late Scout Harding has made contact with Fairbanks and his men in the Emerald Graves and had a run-in with the Herbal Freeman of the Dales. They are as violent as we've been led to believe. As for Fairbanks, Harding was unable to coax much from him. He will only share what he knows with the Herald of Andraste, it seems. Fairbanks is holding his information close to his chest. I wonder if it might relate to something bigger than just the Freeman of the Dales. If there's a chance at all, then we must learn all we can from him. Harding has set up an outpost in the Emerald Graves. Be careful, Inquisitor. The Forest of the Graves is treacherous and home to enemies both new and ancient. Yeah! Ooh, that was that, that image down there. That was, um... It's in the art book. Um... Sure. We will venture forth now. We want to bring... We want to bring, um... Hmm... We want to bring Solus. Iron Bull, maybe? Hmm, I do want to bring coal. Oh, I'm sorry, my love. Just, just, just wait for me. This is so difficult. Oh, it really is difficult. All right, I'm going to call this one here while we're on this loading screen because it takes ages and ages and ages. Um, oh, wait. Oh, shoot, never mind. <laughs> I forgot when we enter a new area, we have a cutscene, and I don't want to miss that. So I'll just edit this part out, and we'll end after the cutscene when we get into the Emerald Graves. There is so much I want to do. I want to go explore the Elven Ruins in Crestwood. I want to explore all the Elven Ruins again, because that's where a lot of the information is tied in, apparently. Like, Samson was, sent, was hunting, I think. I think Samson was hunting through Elven Ruins. And Calpurnia is, too. We kind of know why now, but I want to make sure I catch all the elven ruins this time, except maybe the Soul Sun Temple. Maybe not that one. I know I said I cut this part out, but I had to. T I had this. I have this huge list in my head of things I want to do, and it's just going to take a long time. Good to see you again, Inquisitor. You too, Hardy. Got your comfortable boots on. The scouts have seen a number eyes of eyes nice. all over the forest. We've located this mysterious Fairbanks. He won't share his information with anyone but you. He and his men are camped out at Watcher's Reach, on the path ahead. From what we can tell, they're refugees from the war. Peasants, mostly. Hmm. Tell me everything you know about Fairbanks. We don't know much about him. He appeared after the Civil War started, helping people fleeing from the destruction. Fairbanks is likely not his real name. She's got gorgeous eyes. I don't just notice that they're green. Kind of match her outfit, unless it's just the light in the area, because it is the Emerald Graves. Do you know nothing else about the region? They call this place the Emerald Graves. Legend says that a tree grows here for every elven knight of Halam Sharal who perished in its defense. Makes you sad, doesn't it? We are the last elven. Never again shall we submit. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry, Inquisitor. I spoke thoughtlessly. Not a problem. Thank you for the information. I'll head out. Oh, uh, one other thing. A group of deserters from the Imperial armies has established itself here. Oh yeah, the Freeing enemies were the fighting. They call themselves. They are hostile to the Inquisition and everyone else. Watch your back, Inquisitor. Will do. You pretty young thing. Oh man, I look so rad. <laughs> oh hey. Alright, no no no. We're gonna end it here. We'll explore the area in a little bit. I'm excited, I really do I like this area a lot. Um so thanks again for joining me, you guys. Hopefully you're enjoying it so far. Um I will see you in the next one.